my name is David Morrison. I'm here with my tile setting partner and video editor Riley Arthur, who's behind the camera at the moment. Uh, and we're trying to come up with some more tile tips uh, that'll help you get through a tiling job. And right now we are on a job site where we are going to demonstrate how to make a compound cut. Um, there was a video that we shot previous to this that was a straight cut that we did on a slide cutter, but now we have a little bit more complicated cut that will require three different cuts. And it's to get around this staircase, what's actually called a mule post, right here, uh, to get around this. Um, I'm going to take this tile first, and I'm gonna make marks right here. So I'm gonna bring this tile, I'm gonna space it to the one next to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these spacers, and then I'm just going to take a little marker and make two marks around that. So this, these two marks will get us around the post. But then we need another mark. You can do this with a tape measure, but we're just going to set this tile right up against these guys. And we're going to make a mark right here. Now, Sharpies are notorious for not coming off. There's a little bit of a trick. And once I get this mark in place, I'll show you that trick to get this little Sharpie mark off. The longer this mark stays on, uh, the harder it is to get off, but it will come off this surface regardless. Goof off, if it's been on for a really long time, goof off will take it off. Now, one of the things I'm gonna do is I am going to transfer that mark right here. And I made a little mark on the speed square. I'm gonna draw these two lines. I'm gonna start here with the speed square. I'm gonna draw right up to that mark right there. And then I'm gonna move it over to the next mark and draw right up to that mark. We're gonna stop. And then I'm gonna take the speed square. I'm gonna position the pen right here. Now this is kind of a fun little trick. And I'm gonna use this to draw that line. Now we have this all marked out. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut this out and it will fit perfectly around this mule post. One of the things I promised was to show you how to get a little Sharpie off. Uh, I've got some damp thin set left over. This is, um, it's just residual thin set that was sitting around. I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna rub it in. and that gets the Sharpie off. So with this compound cut, you can't really use a slide cutter. Um, if it were an L shape, the slide cutter could come in handy to get a nice clean cut, but what we're gonna use today is an angle grinder. This is a four inch blade. Um, it is diamond tipped. So with the angle grinder, one of the things I am going to do is, I'm gonna be pulling the angle grinder against the way it's turning. If you go with the way it's turning, you can lose control. So what I wanna do is I wanna turn this on and I'm gonna go in the opposite direction that the blade is spinning and that resistance is gonna give me better control over the angle grinder. Now, one of the things you'll notice that I did right away uh, was that I took this in rather than forcing the blade through the tile and removing a thicker amount of tile, I actually etched where the line was. And I did this for two reasons. One, it allows me to keep, it marks this line uh, so that I can see it and it, it doesn't disappear in the dust. You can notice right here, this line is kind of dusty and I can barely see it. Whereas, you know, when I mark this, the, the, the color difference, it shows up very easily. So I don't lose that mark, that, that Sharpie mark. And then we're gonna take this cut. One of the things to keep in mind with regard to cutting with a circular blade, it cuts at an angle because of its circular nature. So you can see that I've brought this cut right up to that line. But if you look down, 
uh, there's actually a little bit of an angle to the cut. So we actually have to take into consideration that the blade doesn't cut all the way through on the top when we come to this line. And I'll show you how to address that as we cut this. This worked out kind of nicely because it actually fell apart in such a way that, but you can see right there that angle didn't cut all the way through, but it fell out. We have these corners here. So what we're gonna now do is take the angle grinder. I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna smooth out those corners. Now for the purposes of making me look good, I hope this is gonna be a one and done experience. And one of the things that I neglected to take into account with this particular cut is that we're going to have to remove some to get under this. So, but for right now, I'm looking at the left and right of this. We've got pretty good clearance on that. So I'm going to have to take this cut and I'm going to have to come across like so. In this particular instance, I'm going to use a tape measure. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to take my little spacer. And if I cut this at 13 inches, it'll come right up to there. So I'm going to take this, make a mark of 13 inches, and I'm just going to follow that right along. So this is a little bit of a longer cut. I can use the angle grinder. Um, and if I only had a few cuts to make, uh, I might not set up two different types of saws, that I, saws but I have this wet saw here. So I'm going to cut this with the wet saw. There we have a perfect, and there we have a perfect uh, compound cut. When I started this video, I thought it was three cuts, but there was actually a fourth cut because I didn't take into account this port. But we, uh, we cut that up with the wet saw and the tile is now in place. If you found this video helpful, let us know by clicking like and consider subscribing to our channel. Feel free to message us in the comments section with any constructive questions or suggestions.